In this video, we're going to go through all the intricacies of the sledgehammer stretching sequence for the calf muscles. That it's a partner sequence and we need maximum intensity, so my partner today will be Kevin. Kevin will come on in. So, for the pre-fail exercise, we will be using the straight-legged standing calf raise. And then we're going to go in and do a stretching exercise which looks like this. So Kevin and I will take you through the points of form of each of those positions and then we'll have a brief pause and then we will demonstrate the full sequence. So Kevin, up you go on the ladder bars. Standing calf raise. You want enough of the ball of the foot on your support so that you're not worried that you're going to slide off. Have the weight even through the ball of that foot and it's a straight legged exercise so the stretching leg is pressed straight now Kevin has put his full weight on me and then I'm going to explore my range of movement in terms of the stretch so I drop the heel as low as I can feel the stretch come on and then the exercise hopefully has enough load by your partner that you can only really come up to that neutral position by which I mean the heel is at the same height as the toes and hopefully your load is adequate that you'll only be able to do four or five of those repetitions and then the muscle will be failed and then Kevin will come off. Recall also from the previous video that the transition into your stretching position needs to be as quick as possible and let's go through the points of form of the stretch. Get your heel right in against the upright as best you can but still be able to have the stretching leg pressed straight. Uh, make sure as much of the ball of the foot is in contact with that upright. Tuck the tail, pull on your arms, and your first task is to bring the hips as up and close to the ladder bars as you can. Then Kevin comes into position as quickly as possible. He's got his leg hip right behind that side of my hip, and he is leaning in with maximum force to help me maintain the heel right in against the upright and then we'll hold it for a period of time and then we'll go through the contract relaxes. We'll do two contract relax sequences in this demonstration when we get to the actual sequence and after the second one we will change the pelvic position by which I mean we'll go to an untucked bum stuck out position and you can explore incorporating forward bending as well making sure that's from the hips so a straight spine untucked pelvis. That combination will target the full length of the calf muscles here. That's quite hard to talk and breathe at the same time. So, we are ready to actually do the sequence. Well, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. So... Standing calf raise to begin with. Kevin lowers his full weight. Down I go, I work out my range. Straight knee, and I'm gonna try and fail within about five or six reps. I'll have a brief pause in the full stretch position each time, because that's the whole focus of this, is the stretching. And I wanna be failing the muscle in the stretch range of movement. That's two. Three, pretty hard now. Four, what did you say you weigh, Kevin? 72 kilos. 72. One more. Okay, off you come, Kevin. Straight down, into the stretch. Good form, straight knee, up. In you go, Kevin. So there was no resistance from that muscle getting into this first position because I just failed it using the calf raise. You can lean in more weight, Kevin. Breathe and relax. We have that initial stretch period like we would in any stretch sequence in the stretch therapy system. I haven't got a clock. You'd be able to use the clock on your own um, watching of the video. Right now, the stretch is coming on hard. So that's how quickly the muscle recovers even after you've just failed it. All right. I'm going to do the first of the two contraction sequences, 
remembering the contraction for any calf exercise is press the ball of the foot into whatever it's resting on and I'm doing this at maximum intensity maximum and I'm going to do it for 30 that's 25 keep pressing keep pressing you can lean in a little bit more Kevin remember we don't want any movement in the contraction that's 15 keep going keep pressing as hard as you can even though it's intense and your brain's saying please stop don't keep pressing 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 10 to go lean in more Kevin don't let me move at all that's good five more and stop take a breath in I'm going to reposition to more of an untucked pelvis lean in hard Kevin and incorporate forward bend. The total length of time will be in this position will be around the five, six minute mark. So it is a long held stretch as well as working at maximum intensity. You can keep adjusting your position and go deeper into the stretch. I'm trying to untuck the pelvis more, lean forward a little bit more. Breathe and relax. It's pretty intense. All right, let's do the second contraction. This time we'll just do a 15 count. Again, maximum intensity is everything you've got left. 15, 14. 13, lean in more Kevin, don't let me move, that's it, 12, 11, 10, press, 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 9, 8, 7, 6, keep pressing, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, slowly stop, big breath in. I'm going to come up a little bit more, Kevin. Untuck, lean in hard, and as much forward bend as you can. All right, I'm going to try for another 15 full deep breaths in and out here. It's no longer a strong, strong stretch. It's really diffuse. It's quite an interesting sensation. And just like any final position, you need to be able to breathe and relax there. Completely let go. Kevin, you can lean in a little bit more. Okay. Another seven breaths. Making sure that knee's pressed straight. Three to go. Two more. And then Kevin, you come away nice and slowly. And lower yourself out. Oh. And shake out. Okay, so that's the demonstration of the calf sequence. Please review all the points of form of this exercise, but also review the first video which talks about the protocol in detail. Enjoy!